TKMS unveils new Miko A210 frigate during Indo-Pacific 2023 ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems, TKMS, unveiled their third-generation Miko frigate design, called the Miko A210. The company also confirmed their intent to offer the design to the Royal Australian Navy, RAN, as part of any requirement for Tier 2 inches combatants. Rear Admiral, retired, Jonathan Kamerman, a senior naval advisor at TKMS, told Naval News that the Miko A210 was a natural evolution of the Miko A200, which was itself an evolution of the Miko 200. The Miko 200 was also the reference design for the RANS Anzac class frigates which were originally acquired as a lower end capability to supplement tier 1 inch warships, he pointed out. The new design retains its predecessor's combined diesel and gas water jet and refined propeller, Kodag Warp, propulsion system. Kodag Warp pairs up two diesel engines with two propellers, and the single gas turbine with a centerline mounted water jet. This, Kamerman said, allows the Miko A210 design to achieve high speeds when needed while retaining substantial redundancy. What it does not retain, however, is its size. Whereas the A200 tops out at around 3,600 tons, the A210 displaces more than 4,700 as currently designed. It is also slightly longer than the A200, which allows it to accommodate 32 strike length MK.41 vertical launching system, VLS, cells forward of the bridge. Miko A210 In addition to the MK.41 VLS the design is also armed with 16 naval strike missiles, NSM, a 127mm Volcano main gun, multiple remote weapon stations, a conventional close-in weapon system, CIWS, as well as a directed energy weapon, do, in this case the MBDA Rheinmetall 20KW Laser Waffen Demonstrator, LWD. To feed the LWD do the design has substantial power generation and storage capabilities. These, Kamerman said, exceed the demands of the 20KW system and are intended to keep the ship relevant into the future as more powerful do's come online. As part of TKMS future proofing efforts the design incorporates a large mission bay, which can be used for uncrewed vessels, underneath the NSM launchers. It also has space allocated for ISO-containerized payloads on top of the hangar, behind the CIWS. At Indo-Pacific 2023, this space was used by two containers containing missile launchers associated with the Rheinmetall Skyshield Short Range Air Defense System, SHORAD. Naval News regular contributor Alex Luck believes these would be capable of deploying IRIS TSLS or ESSM Block II missiles. The design was also shown with a CCEAFAR radar, something which is nearly ubiquitous across the Tier II combatant competitors, as well as a towed array sonar. Kamerman told Naval News that the design, which has been in the works for many months, had progressed as far through the design phase as any design does before securing a firm order. While the company wouldn't be drawn on details of cost, schedule, and Australian industry involvement, it did confirm that it is in discussions with an undisclosed local partner around supporting a possible build.